everyone. I hope you're having a great week so far and getting out there and enjoying the really nice spring weather. Um, for today's look, I wanted to use some NYX products and I did a dark purple, silver, black, smoky eye. This is what it looks like. So let's begin. The first thing that you want to do is use NYX's Jumbo Eyeshadow Pencil in purple and just take a flat brush of some sort. I'm just going to use a generic brush. Let's go for this one. Just a flat shader brush and swipe it in that eye crayon. Because if you draw it right on there, it gets really thick and clumpy and um, this works much better. I'm going to apply this all over the lid. And just a little bit uh, over the lid up into the crease. Okay, now if you're not getting enough color, you can draw it on some and then spread it out with a pencil or with a brush. Doesn't have to be perfect, so we're going to go over it with some eyeshadow and blend it out. Okay. Hope you can see that. I'm going to zoom in just a tad. So once you've got that on, then you're going to go ahead and take a flat brush similar to the 239 flat brush like that. We're going to go in with the color charcoal, it's a dark silver color. We're going to pack this on the lower part of that lid. Don't go into the crease or above the crease yet, we just want it on that lower part and pack. You don't want to. You don't want to blend it yet. You're just going to pack right on there, okay? Then we're going to go in with a brush similar to the MAC 222. This is just a Sonia Kashuk brush that I got from Target. Just as long as it's fluffy and it's dome shape, it'll work. We're going to take the color purple and go right above that charcoal color that we put on. and just blend it up into the crease. Real simple. Okay, then we're going to take some tape. This trick is done before. Just take a little piece of tape and we're going to put it on our hand to kind of de-stick it a little bit because if it's too sticky it's going to take off some of your shadow and foundation and all that. So just put it on your hand. Kind of rub it on there, pull it off, stick it again. You want to get some of that tackiness off. Okay, then we're going to put it on the outer part of the eye, going from that bottom lash up to the end of your eyebrow. Pat it down so no shadow will get underneath. And we're going to take a 217 brush, dome shaped. We're going to dip it, dip it into just a solid matte black color. And this again, this is by NYX. Flick it. We're going to put it in that outer V. Just kind of get it in that crease and just kind of smudge it in there. And then you can start brushing it in just like that. Okay, and then we're going to go back with the 222 fluffy dome brush, go back with that purple, blend out just a little bit more, go up just a little bit higher this time. Okay, then we're going to take that same brush, clean it off, we're going to go in the, with the color highlight. It's a nice neutral kind of creamy white color and this is going to be our highlight we're just going to Put it all up under the brow. Keep blending. You want to get rid of any harsh lines. Okay, then we're going to go in with the color white. Same brush, fluffy. Go right under that highest point of the arch and just blend out. We're going to lighten it just a little bit by doing this. Okay, peel off that tape. You can see how you get a crisp line there. 
and I don't like it quite so sharp so I'm going to go in with a little bit more purple and just kind of blend that out a little bit. Okay, then I'm going to go back with my purple crayon and I'm going to take a small brush such as the MAC 228, just as long as it's a small kind of thin shader brush. Just kind of smudge the end of it in that crayon. And then we're going to go underneath the eye eyelashes with this. Okay, once you get that done, you're going to take a brush similar to, if I can find it, 219 brush. Small, stiff, dome-shaped brush. We're going to dip it into that black. Look off excess. We're going to go over that shade, kind of shade stick type, that jumbo crayon, sorry. Put it just on the outer half of the lower lashes. Bring it out just a little bit to meet with that color we put on the outer V. Kind of blend it out some. Wipe it off. And then we're going to go back in with that charcoal color. Dip that 219 brush in there. Flick. Go in the inner part of the eye. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and line my waterline and my upper lash line, and I'll be right back. Okay, now that I have my lower, um, my waterline and my upper lash line lined, how many times can I say line in one sentence? Sorry. Okay, take that 219, more black, flick. We're going to smudge out that top um, line that's there right next to the lashes because we don't want a harsh line there. This is just to soften a little bit and give more of a smoky look to the bottom part of the lashes. And this also brings some dark color down, which you want. You want it to gradually go from dark to light, light as it goes up. And if you want to darken that outer V, go ahead and do that now with that 219 brush. It's a great brush for that, darkening. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and put on some mascara and then we're all finished. So here's the final look. And if you want to make it um, even a little bit more special, if you want to make your eyes pop a little bit more, take some MAC Frozen White Pigment in a 217 brush. Dip it in there, just flick it a little bit, and dab it in that inner corner, close to where that deer tear duct is. Just dab it in there. Do the other eye. Flip. Inner corner. Just kind of sweep it in there. And if you want, if you want your eyebrow arch to stand out a little bit more, you can also dab it under there just a little bit and it gives a little shimmer. And then you're all set. So here's the final look. As you can see, it's a dark purplish with black and silver mixed in there, kind of a smoky eye, great for weekends or evenings. Um, always feel free to leave me comments or questions. If you need help with anything, I'll do the best that I can to help you out. Have a great week, everyone. Bye.